Hey, this is Red Band coming to you live from the world famous Comedy Store main room for a brand new episode of Kill Tony. Give it up for Tony Edgeclare. Wow, this is so exciting. Boy, do you feel it just running through your yeah, veins? Oh my God. Great. Wow, thank you guys so much. Thank you. Hi, Brian. How are you, buddy? I'm doing good. How are you, buddy? I'm great. Everything's fun. It's good to be back here at the Comedy Store. Yeah. Home sweet home. Home sweet home as they shut down Los Angeles. Yeah, we found out they were going to uh, shut down again. Very, very exciting stuff. But that's not stopping us. That's still a couple days away. (laughs) And I'll tell you who's not scared. The great Ryan J. Ebelt is here tonight, everybody, as he is every episode. (laughs) Uh, He draws every single episode of the show, and all those prints are available at ryanjebelt.com. Um, it's just an amazing artist. Look, he's already started tonight's episode. Ryan, why don't you give one more wave and uh, head turn? <laughs> <laughs> That's my favorite part now. That has become my favorite part. <laughs> it's the best. Uh, shout out to Vito's Pizza, keeping us fed before today's show, and our friend Gino from uh, Speedweed, always hooking us up when we need weed, and uh, also uh, through the great Better Box Studios, which is where we shot many of the quarantine episodes of Kill Tony. And here we are for another one. You excited about this, Brian? I am absolutely insane right now with excitement. But before we start all the festivities, this is a little word from our amazing sponsors that made this episode available to you right now. Here they are. Hiring can be challenging, but ZipRecruiter makes it fast and easy. One CEO, Allie, needed to hire for a multifaceted role at his wallpaper company, Walls Need Love. He was looking for someone who was the right fit for his team and culture, but his search was slow going. So he turned to ZipRecruiter. ZipRecruiter's powerful matching technology identifies the right people for your job and actively invites them to apply, which is why you should try ZipRecruiter for free at ZipRecruiter.com slash KillTony. That's how Ali found Savannah Ray. Ali said Savannah's skills and experience were a great match for the role. Plus, she applied within a few days after he posted the job. Through ZipRecruiter, Ali has hired everyone from head of marketing to his sales director to lead graphic designer. But Ali's not the only employer who loves ZipRecruiter. That's right. A lot of them do. Four out of five employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. See for yourself how ZipRecruiter makes hiring faster and easier. Try it for free. That's right, free at ZipRecruiter.com slash KillTony. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash K-I-L-L-T-O-N-Y. ZipRecruiter.com slash KillTony. Hey, y'all. Now more than ever, you really shouldn't put off seeing a doctor when you're not feeling well. And I know that with everything going on, it can be difficult to put your health first. Seeing a doctor can be a real hassle. Plus, it's scary nowadays to go in there. There might be people in the waiting room coughing. It's frightening. That's why I use Plush Care. They make seeing a doctor so easy, I do it right from home. Plush Care provides virtual doctor appointments through your smartphone or computer. I just pick a time that works for me and book an appointment right online. I don't have to sit on hold forever to make an appointment or leave the house and sit in a crowded waiting room like Tony just said (laughs) and be exposed to who knows what. With Plush Care, I can be diagnosed, treated, and even have a prescription sent to the pharmacy of my choice, if needed, within minutes. Plush Care accepts most major insurance carriers and is available in all 50 states in the doctor's care. They're here to help by discussing treatment options and providing prescriptions as needed. And they're available anytime I have questions. And if you need a regular checkup or have questions about mental health, Plush Care doctors are available to help. Schedule an appointment today to discuss your treatment options. You know, I did this, Brian, and it was super easy. It turns out I had a little case of uh, food poisoning after eating some diabolical sushi, (laughs) but I was worried, and I took care of all of it over Plush Care. With Plush Care, I don't put off seeing a doctor, and neither should you. No more excuses. Make your appointment today. Go to plushcare.com slash Tony. That's P-L-U-S-H-C-A-R-E dot com slash Tony. Plushcare.com slash Tony. All right. You guys ready to start tonight's show or what, huh? This is very, very exciting. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, this guy, first time guest on the show. However, been pulled out of the bucket 
multiple times. We know this guy. He's a friend of mine. He's a great, great comedian. He's a door guy here at the store, part of the elite uh, Navy SEALs, if you will, of uh, renegade stand-up comedians. And here he is, ladies and gentlemen, the great Mitch Burrow, everybody. Wow. Look at this. Moving on up in the world. Mitch Burrow. Everything's shaken for this guy. He's an overnight success. Been in the game for eight years. Well, 14. 14 years? years. Wow. The only person to ever go from getting pulled out of the bucket to being a guest. That's right. The The only only person person ever. Out of, (laughs) yeah. (laughs) The only person ever. That's never happened before. Never. Anyway, uh, how's it going, Mitch? How's things, life? Things are going great. Uh, I the, the the fans of the show don't know. I have a baby on the way. Wow! Look at that! Everybody's sure? yeah. got a baby on the way. I do. That first thing about me being the first person to go from bucket to get that was a lot. But I do really have a baby on the way. Wow! Yeah. Is, is this a, the girl that you've been talking about recently on the show? Yeah, yeah. Uh, the one that lets me have sex with her and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. She let me finish inside. It was great. Whoa! Uh, wait. Well, how'd you make the baby? <laughs> you just leave it in a little longer than normal, and then it's like, oh, we fucked up. Wow. But we're excited. We're excited about this mistake. Are you? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, we're real excited because. Uh, you know, babies are fun, man. You, they fall over and shit, so I'm excited. Things that fall over are fun. Yeah, I, yeah, I think you're going to be a good dad, though. Me too. I'm just going to like it because I like, I like when kids learn on their own. You know, you just let them make mistakes and, and film it, and then it goes viral. So I'm That's excited true. about that. Oh, yeah. you're going to be one of those dads. You're going to be like bad babies. I, <laughs> I am going to exploit this child for everything it's Talk the fuck out of that Hell baby. Yeah. All right, well, speaking of babies, there's a bunch of people that, uh, that, that, that I have to work with every single week. <laughs> they are a band, ladies and gentlemen. If their costume is babies, <laughs> that is going to be insane. <laughs> every single episode, they commit to being different characters. We never know what they're going to be. They've been preparing in the back. Let's all find out together what they are tonight as I present to you the best damn band in the land. It's the Kill Tony Band, Jeremiah Watkins, Jetski Jesse Johnson, and Joel Berg, Joel Jimenez. <laughs> God, we used to have so much fun. Oh, hey, we know these guys. <laughs> They're here to deliver the That's baby. That's <laughs> right. Baby delivery by FedEx. We've seen these guys before. I believe the last time was in La Jolla, California. You don't forget a bunch of FedEx delivery people when you work with them. How are you, FedEx guy? Hi, uh, my name's Teresa, and I'm gender fluid. Uh, my pronouns are who, what, when, where, why, and they. Teresa. Teresa. Good to and, see you again, Teresa. And I don't call it male or female. I just call it postage. Wow. Okay. Thank I th- you. I thought I made it clear in my writer that I would be the only one with a kick-ass mustache on stage tonight. Don't worry, you are. <laughs> 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 and what's your name, young lady? Hi, I'm Rhonda, the former manager of the Arizona branch, uh, but we have all just transferred recently to the new Austin branch. <laughs> wow. <laughs> People are moving. <laughs> People are moving. And who are you back there, young uh, Bullwinkle? Oh, uh, the name's Clarence, and honestly, I, I hate it here. It seems like a very irrational decision by my boss to move us to Austin so quickly. <laughs> I mean, we were so settled at our branch, and then all of a sudden, oh, just oh, a big move happened. Yeah, like, <laughs> what? Well, I'm really proud of the team for just going with the flow. <laughs> yeah, we, we couldn't be uh, have any more support from our branch. We never get called babies or anything by our, our superiors, <laughs> and we're also welcome with a smile every day. You could thank Corona for that also. Don't forget that, guys. Oh, Corona is the name of my if friend. <laughs> All right, so that's the band. They're here. We got Mitch, we got Red Band, the soundboard, everything. And uh, I have uh, four people waiting from deep in the back of the room, all spread out, socially distanced, waiting to see if, uh, well, not really if, but when their name will be pulled. Um, you, know, it, well, you know, there used to be at some points up to 150 people's names that they signed in a bucket. I would just pull them out. And yeah, so, even more than that. So different. Instead, here we go. We know what we're in for. I'll tell you from this angle, it looks pretty exciting. So let's have some fun. Let's start the show. But uh, 
There's no better way to do it than with a real fucking ace in the hole, you know what I mean? A real fucking go-getter, a real fucking little dirty dirt ball. <laughs> this guy right here kicking off the show, one of my favorite human beings, an unbelievable comedian, a new minute every single week. He's the big red machine, everybody. It's the great William Montgomery. Here he is. Here he is. The great William Montgomery. Uh, every night I lay in bed staring at the ceiling hoping, hoping that the Miss Piggy poster doesn't fall on me. Uh, anyways, have you ever seen Miss Piggy naked? Uh, I'll send you the link. Uh, did you all hear about the money Harvard gave back when they heard it was from Jeffrey Epstein? Uh, just kidding, Harvard condones that. Um, Kamala Harris has come out against legalizing prostitution uh, unless it involves sleeping with the mayor of San Francisco to boost your career. Uh, on the one hand, I feel bad about slavery. On the other hand, I watch documentaries about Africa and I'm like, damn, y'all better be glad you boarded the ship. All right. <laughs> All right, cutting it up a little early there. 51 seconds. I like it. I was hoping it'd be close to a minute, but it's not. I was I was nine seconds off. You really? <laughs> yep. You really? Uh, you really? Uh, that was great, William. How about a bit another hand for William, everybody? Yeah. Come on, out here, still <laughs> writing jokes, writing a new minute every single week. Not easy to do. A lot of these people on this show, it's their first time or it's the return of them not being here for months. You have the toughest job, and every week you just shine over there, don't you? What's, what are you, what's, why are you making that face, William? Can we, Zach, here, can you zoom in on William's why face? Why is he making that? He looks like a what's bad happening? boy. Exactly. Uh, awkward, uh, awkward conversation starter. William and I dated a time ago. <laughs> we did. It was nice. I love that. William, why are you making that face tonight? What's going on? I don't know. There? I'm not meaning to. What face am I making? Hey, that William. <laughs> just I, I might have missed one of your jokes. What was the one about Africa again? Yeah, well, maybe you shouldn't do that one again. <laughs> uh, out of all the ones. Uh, <laughs> I, just, I wasn't sure if I miss, missed it or not. No, you just basically... Uh, have you ever seen the documentaries about Africa? Beautiful place. I David know, Attenborough does a great job. I know, I love it there. I love got a it. new hat there. What's the F stand for? For Florida Gators. William, what's up with the face that you're making tonight? <laughs> I know, I mean, the light is making me do it. Maybe he's born with it. Maybe it's Maybelline, Tony. <laughs> is everything okay? What'd you, what'd no, you... the light's making me do it. <laughs> did you, the same why light is it every, doing this? The same light every week. Really. Yeah, did you eat acid before tonight's show? <laughs> What's going on? What 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 did you uh what did you do today, William? Um, what did I do? I uh, I ate some tamales. Yeah, what you where'd you do that at? In the uh, kitchen. It's a place. What is the place called? It's called like the Tamale Kitchen. That seems pretty on the nose. <laughs> Do you think William has ever told you the truth about no, anything? No, I don't think okay. so. <laughs> I just to make sure. Yeah, the tamale kitchen. It was really good. I had a chicken and green chili tamale. Wow. Yeah, wow. it was really good. Wow. Mm -hmm. you, uh, how many, t uh, just, just a couple tamales? That's all you had? Yeah, a couple tamales and a couple of chicken. Uh, um, what are those things called? You put uh, stuff in the middle of them. Tacos? And you put, yeah, tacos. <laughs> I had two tacos as well. Sometimes <laughs> if, if I eat a, a lot of tamales, I call them too minis. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? What the fuck? I'm going to start using that. That was yeah, funny. Yeah, that. You can have it. That's exciting about your child. Oh, don't talk about my child. Oh, look at that. Look who's questioning the guests can I be all the of a sudden. Look at the new host of the show, everybody. Look at this fucking guy. Can I be the grandfather? <laughs> <laughs> can I? William, what else happened this week? Any other highlights of your week this week? Anything stand out to you? Uh, I almost saw... Uh, I thought I was seeing my girlfriend's uh, grandfather die. That was pretty exciting. You got to see Not that? in a good way, but a scary way. Yeah. What happened? She met you? Had a, shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> shut the fuck up. I'm trying to have fun in here tonight. <laughs> what happened with the grandfather? Had a bad seizure. Was it a stroke? You, you, uh, yeah, you, it was like a stroke slash seizure. <laughs> my God, how old was he? 
So now I've turned into his personal chauffeur, which I didn't sign up for that. <laughs> did you bring him with it? Did you bring him with you here tonight? Yeah, I think he's in the bathroom still. Maybe <laughs> there's just a seizured out girlfriend's grandfather. Correct. Did wow. you perform? Were you like a first responder? Did I perform did you oral? <laughs> Why'd you ask me that? Why'd you ask me mouth that? To that mouth, seems like, weird. To help him stay alive. Yeah, like when he started having the seizure, did you get like, like try to help him or did what? You did you, what happened? What, what were you doing? I was just watching. What am I gonna do? <laughs> Can you can you give us an impression of you watching the grandfather? <laughs> wow! <laughs> and you just did nothing. What was what was he doing? Well, can the you, ambulance people. Can you can. do an impression? Can you look at that camera there that Zach's behind and do an impression of the grandpa having a seizure? That's what a seizure looks like. That, uh, that's, what you be, that's what you've been doing the whole time <laughs> up here tonight. <laughs> that's the face I was asking you why you're making. What's going on in that <laughs> house? What'd you have? Seizure tamales? Uh, he had little <laughs> he had little seizures. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. So uh, when he was having a seizure, you just sat there and stared at him the whole time? Well, the you paramedics did. came. Well, I mean, yeah. they, they came like 10 minutes later. Well, you if you would have done anything, that's a legal search and seizure. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? You know what that means, William. I do know what that means. Wow. So your grandfather had a seizure, but he survived. He's alive. He's alive. Yes. What, do you, what are you guys keeping him? It sounds like you're just saying that he's alive so you can collect his like unemployment <laughs> benefits or something. You guys <laughs> collecting a check on this guy? Yes. Wow, look at that. Yeah, I think Is he in like up. a vegetative state or <laughs> No, he seems normal. <laughs> He seems Everything's normal. all right. Yeah, he seems really normal. I think normal. that's the first time Mitch has ever said vegetative <laughs> before. <laughs> He's never seen a vegetative, and he's never said a vegetative before. <laughs> Man, William, you also got in a car accident. Whoa. Oh, yeah, I did. I was, uh... uh <laughs> Who gets I reminded forgot. of that shit? Oh, I yeah, was, I did. Uh, I went to a McDonald's on Friday morning, Hell and yeah. I was leaving the McDonald's, and before that, my... Uh, breakfast. Breakfast to McDonald's. Yeah. What'd you get? get? Two sausage, egg, and cheese biscuits and a hash brown. Oh, you went with the biscuits, Jeez. huh? Two and a single hash brown? What'd you wash that down with? Uh, water. Water? Yeah, Gross. I was real I dehydrated. I don't I take was... you as a water guy. I picture you the orange high C. Yeah, I, I go for the orange drink instead of the orange juice. I got the, uh, got the water, and up to this <laughs> point, um, uh, my car door wasn't locking properly, so I couldn't. I had to hold it when I was driving, and... <laughs> Hold on, William. I'm sorry. <laughs> Red Band just said like that that was like a normal thing. Like, yeah. yeah. I prefer the orange orange soda pop to the orange juice for breakfast. Didn't you as a kid rather have the orange drink? This is why of, you're the fatter the than me now. <laughs> <laughs> orange juice has way more sugar than orange, orange band. high C. <laughs> My goodness. Substituting orange juice for the orange drink. I mean, I was making a joke about it. but, uh, but uh, <laughs> yeah. I don't do that like, now, but yeah, as a kid, I used right. to do that. Yeah. yeah as the high C was awesome when you played sports and they had that big yellow container. The the, the, the high C. I have a question. As a kid, did you have an? As a kid, did you have an e trike? <laughs> an no. e trike has been called on the field. They don't even have those, back then. <laughs> but they should. <laughs> Red Band's new business. E trikes. But yeah, so I'm taking a left out of the McDonald's and a... Uh, Is it a two-lane or a four-lane? It's a four-lane. Oh, boy. You're making a left out on a four-lane? Wow. I, I am. Did it was, identify as a highway or a traffic road? I think an expressway. Okay. Maybe it was a byway. Boing. I think it was an expressway. Go ahead, William. You're making so a left So I'm turn. taking a left, and next thing I know, I was hungover. I wasn't in my right mind. I was looking at my sausage biscuits, and I pull out, and... You were, pu you were pulling out what? The biscuits? No, just my out car of his girlfriend. out of the, uh, Your pull-out game is even worse than Mitch Burrow. <laughs> 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 well, in this situation, it was. I was taking a left. I was pulling out of the uh, McDonald's driveway, and... Next thing I know, somebody's to my left, screeching their tires, honking. Well, that means you didn't look. This is I your missed fault. it somehow. I've this never been in a car fault. crash. I've never Wait. been in a car crash. Wait, let me ask you this. Did you eat your biscuits yet? Did, are you? No, not yet. They're just in your bag? Are you by yourself? I had yourself? to wait like an hour later. It turned into a whole ordeal. Are you by yourself on this I'm trip? I'm by myself. Really? Yeah. So the bag's just sitting on the passenger seat. It's sitting on the passenger seat. I slam on the brakes. 
Um, Why do you slam on the brakes? If because the lady's <laughs> coming at me, she slams on the brakes. If you would have hit the gas, you probably would have been fine. I don't know. People are coming on the other, going the other <laughs> oh, way. Jesus, what so did you? you there's traffic did you just, everywhere. Did you, you just not look at all? <laughs> <laughs> you, you were you still I drunk? I can't remember. You just kept the momentum that you had in the parking lot just going. And I go. It. But it sounds like a suicide mission yeah. that you were on. <laughs> I'm so guessing the, the only tra- time you hit the brakes was when you saw a car When screeching. she was right there to my left, I hit the brakes. My fucking door flings it open because it doesn't lock correctly. His, right, his passenger <laughs> side door doesn't shut correctly, so it just flung. Shut up. So up. my door, my driver's side door, when I hit the brakes really hard, it flings open very hard and it slams into the front of her car. So the door flies open. Does your food fly out of the door? No, it's just there, and I'm just looking at the <laughs> lady. And I'm di- it? Did you put a seatbelt <laughs> on your bag of McDonald's? I put my food in a car seat. It was on the floor. <laughs> I, I have a baby seat for my car. It was on the floor. Um, and then I was wondering if I should just drive off. She was looking very angry. And Why would you think that? Of course you wouldn't do that. Yeah, that not what, drive off? Yeah, turn, turn this basic fender bender into a felony hit and run. Yeah. I know I didn't. Wait, what? What'd you do? He thought about driving I off. I thought about driving of off. Of course he did. No, he's a wild man. Now That's how they think. This is our first reaction. He's a rebel. Look at look at the way the he's built. The police would never <laughs> find you either. Be on the lookout for a car that when you hit the brakes, the passenger door <laughs> swings open. Right. <laughs> I'm guessing you drank a lot, a shitload the night before. You were probably still drunk. Yep. I wouldn't necessarily say that, but I was hungover. Well, yeah. I've been doing real good on the drinking recently. It doesn't really seem like it. You're hungover, (laughs) not looking either direction, pulling out of a McDonald's, causing massive accidents. What happened to the lady that hit you? Uh, Was she hurt? No, she was pregnant. Um, (laughs) She was. You pulled out in front of my girlfriend? (laughs) Yeah. It's a pregnant Hispanic lady. Uh, Oh, well, we know those are. What are the odds? (laughs) Well, we meet up. Never heard of one of those. We met up in a neighborhood and uh, we exchanged information, but I didn't get her information. She just got mine. Oh, that's great, William. Great job. (laughs) I just wanted to get out of the situation. I didn't want the cops to come. Um, Oh, boy. Well, she probably doesn't have a driver's license or car insurance. Yeah. She said it was her boss's car, and oh, now I'm waiting. Fuck. Now what I'm waiting. Of, what to get kind of car was back. it? What kind of car was it? I think a Toyota Camry. Oh, jeez. What kind of boss drives a Toyota Camry? My God. Boss. Yeah, I don't know. I'm still waiting to hear back. Hear, I don't think you're hear back. To. I haven't heard back. No, you 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 were the best person for this lady to run into because she's definitely never going to reach out to you. Well, how how is her car going to get fixed? It, well, El Jefe is going to take care of it. Yeah, I but, hope it didn't uh, sound like you My dad's busy, was. dude. <laughs> I'm a little worried about it. I'm not kidding. I'm a little worried about it. I haven't heard back. Hell yeah. What else, William? Anything else? What What happened then? Who is your car t- ruined? No, I actually took it to a really nice, uh, really nice man, and he fixed all the locks for free because there was like a recall on the on the locks. Oh, fixed the locks. Yeah, he fi- so well, he fixed pass- all four. Your passenger side door closes now. Well, all of all of them, but the driver side uh, shut. But now, now they're all fixed. Well, here, my only issue with that is I've never had doors open just because they weren't locked. No, no, his his door wouldn't shut. Like, like it would shut, but then, like, if you went around the corner, you could fly out the side of the the car. I left it like that for like a week or two. I would I'd put I, on the car alarm and open, nobody just tried to open the door because the door would have just come open. I feel like people who just had to ride with William long enough just eventually sabotaged it so that they could get out easier. William, I'm going to ask you a question that I've asked you a few times up here. Are you really saying that this? Squinting thing that you're doing tonight is because of the same exact kind of. I'm not fact, even. In fact, I believe they turned the lights slightly down. Yeah, they did. Didn't they, they, David? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> There's a. Who the fuck is that? <laughs> that's your. That's your. Archie. Do you want to shut up? <laughs> yeah, I can't oh, hear you. Oh, oh, you don't mess with that guy. I'm you kidding, Raphael. I'm kidding. He's kidding. He's just kidding, Damon. There I'm goofing. He's right there. Look at it's the even look. brighter. Look are you at the look on his face, Zach? Are you, you get in on? The, it's, it's just incredible. Are you on some kind of medication right now? Some pills or something? Because uh, of pills? Xanax. Well, did you cry all did night? You? Did like you try crazy. Xanax? <laughs> kidding. Did you? No, no. It's been a while since I've done that. All right. Yeah, it's been years. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> what about what happens when you take Xanax? 
Uh, I get on autopilot and I wake up the next day and I look at my telephone and wonder uh, what I what I spoke to so and so about for 15 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody you haven't talked to in years. That's what happens when I take Xanax. I black the fuck out, and I call people, and I look at my phone, and I talk to them for 15, 20 minutes, and I I just worry about what I say. That's perfect. You keep on repeating the same questions over and over and over and over again, too, when you do that. I could. Yeah. William, I'm I'm convinced you're holding in pooping your pants right now. <laughs> so I'm just going to, that just is going to let you go. Like it really does. I think those tamales are... Uh, I kind of do have to take a shit. Brewing. I kind of honestly do. I, I really can tell you really wear it on your face. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the whole time, it just looks like you had to shit. Now it really looks like you have to shit. You could be the first person to poop your pants. What if we just keep you up here yeah, the whole episode? Put him right there so he has to sit here. Let's William, thank you so much. Another unbelievable cool. performance. Fun times. The great William Montgomery, everybody. And it has begun. The show has begun. I reach my hand in the bucket. What a stud. William Montgomery. All right. The great David Deary over yeah. here switching out the microphones. The backbone of Kill Tony sanitizing the mic stand. Can't see, but he went over with one of those... Uh, Steamers beforehand. Mm-hmm. He, he grazed it with uh, with uh, with wow. spritz. Before I, before we moved to Austin, I used to be the backbone of this band. <laughs> okay, there's. <laughs> Thank you so much, Clarence. Everybody, Clarence. All right, pull the name out of the bucket. Here's Moha, everyone. It's time for Moha. This guy's been on the show before. He's back. Last time he was on, we found out he had a third nipple. This should be exciting. It's Moha. What's up, boys? Um, I'm Somalian. Every time I say that, people be like, they think I'm aggressive because of the Somali pirates and, you know, Captain Phillips. I'm the captain. I'm also Swedish, the most friendliest country. I grew up in Sweden most of my life, Stockholm. And in Sweden, when we walk up to guys, even if they're guys, we go up and we go, hey, what's up, bro? We give each other kisses on both cheeks, hug each other real tight, rub each other's back, give each other compliments. You smell really good, bro. So we are borderline gays, but we are very friendly. Not gays at all, right? Uh, so you got that side of me. And also in America, when you beef with somebody and it's over, you shake hands. We just walk up to each other and stuck on and just start making up with each other. And I'm sorry, bro. You know, <laughs> But we're not gay. We're just very friendly, borderline gay. And lately, guys, I've been hitting, I've been lucky with the ladies. I've been hitting out of the park. Every girl I go home to, I've been smacking. Every girl that takes me to the house, I've been hitting. It's because of this little thing called rape, guys. Surprised? <laughs> so, so was she, by the way. I'm the captain now. Whoa. Frightening set. Step on into the light, Moha. Take a big step forward there so that light can get you oh, all in sorry. it. Spotlight's a little Did light. you say you're from Stockholm? Yes. It's weird. You, you seem like you have a different type of syndrome. I'm Somalian, but I was raised in Stockholm all my life. Oh, you didn't get it. No, sorry. No, it's great. Welcome back, Moha. So uh, remind us, how long you been doing stand-up comedy? I started writing in March, and I started doing uh, mics in June, July. When How's that been going for you? How's great. It, what, what happens out there? You go out there? I've done mics, Gary's, Joel's, Bill's, <laughs> Ted's. I've been, doing, I've been trying to do two, three mics a day, uh, a day now. Me too. <laughs> uh, okay. so that's only like five months, so the good news is you haven't invested that much time into it. You can still quit. <laughs> I'm not quitting, bro. You're not going to get rid of me. Wow. Look it's my that. dream. I'm doing It's this. like those women that you raped in that joke. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to get you to stop. Okay. I quit that. Yeah, you're forcing yourself upon stand-up right now. <laughs> they keep saying no means no. Please stop. So what, what are you, what are, what's doing mics like during this time? Because I don't really know. Nobody can really fathom what the open mic scene in Los Angeles is like. So It's tell less, us. less, and it's a lot of parks, a lot of outdoors. Punk, punks? Parks. 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 Sorry, English is my third language. A lot of parks. All right, jeez, whatever. A couple of indoors. It's <laughs> probably a lot sounds of... Sounds like it's your fourth language. 
It is. It's, it's a lot more comics, it. isn't it? Like, there's not really audiences anymore. It's more just comics. No, um, that's the thing. Uh, you're doing mics, and you're getting no laughs because it's just a bunch of comics. And they're like, who the fuck is this guy? So oh, that's you just, <laughs> just have to keep doing your thing. Does it feel like it's a hard time to be doing it or a good time? You feel like you have an advantage because if stuff was booming, there'd be more fish in the sea or whatever? I feel like it's harder to do comedy now because nobody's paying attention to your set. You but do, you do, like do, the struggle. I like it because I feel like once we get audiences, <laughs> I might get some laughs then. <laughs> maybe. Yeah. Maybe. There was, look, you got one guy laughing at you right now. At your hopes and dreams. Just, just the you, voice bro. of God just cackling you, in the back. He's like, well, I feel like one day when I get a chance with an audience, I'm going to do pretty good. Somebody's just like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it might be the ab- exact opposite. You have like a false sense. Of, right. You know, your act because no one's telling you're, you're you're only. Anything. What if you're what if you're only good during pandemics? I'm, I, who said I'm good? You haven't said nothing yet. Anyway, You're right. Nobody that, did. That's a really great point, Moha. Um, but uh, but I mean, yeah, you you tried. What did we talk about tonight? Somali and this. I'm the captain now. And then what? Something. Yes. Then what was the part where you made out with the microphone? What was that? Oh, so I was saying like I, I'm Somalian, but I also have Swedish in me because I grew up there most of my life. Uh-huh. And in Sweden, you know, we are very like friendly guys. We kiss each other on both cheeks. Mm. And we give each other hugs. Okay. We don't mind rubbing and giving each other compliments. Oh, no, forget Austin. Tony's moving to Sweden. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, the backbone the of the band, <laughs> Jet Ski. You are the best, and indeed, the backbone of the band. Oh, I thought you were going to say, "Indeed, I'm moving to Sweden." <laughs> <laughs> I've been to Sweden. It is unbelievable. I've been to Stockholm. Thanks. Yeah, absolutely incredible. It reminded me of like being inside of an incredible snow globe or something. <laughs> I thought like you were going to say being inside of a man. <laughs> 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 okay. All right. Yeah. One tip I would give. Come on, you guys do the same jokes every week. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Red Band's getting hungry. <laughs> One tip I would actually give you, though, uh, your accent is its pretty good. Like, you can understand you, but you do kind of go a little bit faster. So, like, when you were doing the joke about kissing your friends and stuff, I missed the whole part, like, that's in Sweden, that was a thing. So maybe emphasize, like, major parts of your act a little bit more so that it gets to the audience. Because that's an important part. Because you just said, started saying that you were making out with people. I'm like, wait, what the fuck's he talking about? And if you're going to do it, better, don't make boy. out with- and if you're going to do it, don't make out with the microphone. It's frightening. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Ray. I appreciate that. Also, I was trying to make sure I hit that minute. No, go over it. Sorry. Well, Thank you for yeah. the advice. I mean, the most it's a queef. The most important thing is doing it at a pace that, uh, that works for you. Look at you. What else yeah, has if been you happening? Just, if you would have just cut out the rape stuff, you could have talked slower and then not... Gone yeah, over a minute. W- what was the rape stuff? I, I missed that part. Yeah, it's it really hard to. Uh, this is what's good is your set raises a lot of questions about what you were talking about. <laughs> I mean, if you listen to it, I'm sure you should you do like Q and A's. You should just do like three minute sets when you headline. Just do three minutes and then take forty minutes of questions afterwards. Oh uh, yeah, what was the one about? Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> so it's comedy with Q and A right after. What? Comedy and then Q and A after. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. yeah. Yeah, I think that's the the biggest uh, hurdle you're going to have when you have a real audience in front of you, especially since an audience is also a lot more loud. You know, they're talking, they're make they're shuffling, they're making noises and stuff. So those little kind of words and stuff, you got to really make sure it comes through because if not, you're just sitting up there talking and they're What they're a, like, what, the what else is going on at these mics? Any drama, anything like that? Cuz when I was doing open mics, I mean, people would get into arguments, you know. There was a bunch of little fucking slutty comedians there was all this stuff going on right oh yeah all that and more we're like what Uh, give it give us something from your own life i mean we we come on give us something good i don't know you probably know this is a comic we hang out to like five in the morning sure eat late at the hollywood tie or something yeah so what happened we roast each other like for hours come on give me one good memory of of your you've been doing it a few months now you're going to all these mics you're hanging out till 5 a.m what's something crazy that happened oh we did a we did a mic we went to this mic place we always go to and then there was like a bunch of punk rock star people and goth girls and we're like what the hell is going on what was the thing godzilla goth 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 girls goth girls wow and i'm like what the hell is going on and they Uh say yo we had a we had a show earlier and they end up staying that was the only time we had audience actually 
and they were they were in the front and it was fun. <laughs> and then they were they were on drugs and doing all kinds of crazy shit. It was funny, man. It was wow, good. that's crazy. Did you find out who the band was? It w- I don't know who the band was. It's a bunch of different people. Right. With their audience. They were they been. laughing? Yeah, they were. They enjoyed the comedy. They didn't expect the comedy. So they, they were stayed. on drugs. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Everybody loves comedy when they don't expect it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> What's w- w- you do drugs? Uh, I just smoke. That's it. That's the only drug yeah. I do. I yeah. mean, if you were on drugs, Tony, and this guy walked up in front of you, you would lose your shit. <laughs> yeah, I bet. Your hair would be so, trippy. So it's the 80s rapist. You ever try any other drugs? You ever try, like, Somali? Oh, yeah, in Somali we have this thing called cut leaves. That deserved more audience. <laughs> no, it's okay. That w- that's one of the ones. That was a, that's what we call a slow builder, but you, need the, you would need an actual audience. Yeah, that, that joke takes about an hour to kick in. <laughs> yeah, that, that's a, uh, <laughs> that one is a... Uh, you got to drink extra water, too. Stay <laughs> hydrated with that. Yeah. What else, dude? What's your love life like? You out there just fucking terrorizing innocent young women? Uh, actually, <laughs> I'm still trying to get some dates on these apps. You can talk the rape, but can you walk the rape? <laughs> no, I can't. No. no. When's the last time you got laid? What was that like? Uh, it was a couple of months ago. It was amazing. I imagine a lot of clawing and scratching. No, it was just a lot of balls deep action. Just the nuts Balls out. deep action? Just the nuts hanging out. Bling, bling. Jesus Christ. <laughs> My goodness. Where'd you meet that girl? On FedEx. This, this app called Bumble. Oh, you did? And where'd you, where'd you, did you meet her somewhere or did you take her somewhere? I mean, we went out on a date, in an outdoor patio, and then we went back to her. And we when, when, you, when, you, uh, when you come, what sound do you make? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> that's a cl- that's that a, one right that's a classic for the long time that uh, worked fans. almost perfect <laughs> <laughs> it was the exact same sound that's the sound I make it really was pretty crazy <laughs> hit the note of the sound effect <laughs> alright Moha anything else hey follow me on Instagram alright shut up career. dude Jesus fucking Christ thank you guys there he goes Moha everybody you know Mitch is from the great state of Georgia Mitch from Georgia, yeah, also right. a, a Marine, veteran, yep. a, not, a, not still a veteran of the United States Marine Corps. Yeah. Oh, you're, you're welcome. So let me ask you something. You're a Marine. You're from Georgia. What is seeing a guy that looks like Moha? What does that make you feel like? What if, what if that guy was like, hey, I'm, I'm moving in next door to you and yours. <laughs> Sorry if you don't understand me. It's my third language. No, it's great. Come on in. I don't know why you would ask yeah, me Yeah, right. Whatever. I don't believe that for a second. <laughs> He's calling it an airstrike. <laughs> airstrike, stand your <laughs> Air shot. What? Where, where's the gun? There's no gun. What if that soundboard gave me PT? Like I just fucking. <laughs> yeah. Do you, you have duck under PTSD the desk? You start all? crying. <laughs> I'll fix you. All right, let's keep having fun here, ladies and gentlemen. I pulled another name out of the bucket. This name is Mario Tonti. Here we go. Whoa. Mario Tonti. Mario Tonti. Here. Here he is, Mario Tonti. Back in high school, I had a friend that would always try to get me to listen to the band Primus, but I could never get into it because he had a lisp and he would call them Primuth. (laughs) Um, Lately, I've been watching a lot of 90s movies that I grew up on, but now that I'm older, they're starting to make me sad. Like, I'm always halfway through Clueless before I realize that Brittany Murphy's dead. (laughs) I watched a few uh, Spike Lee movies to try and educate myself on black history. Apparently that's not how that works. Um, All it did was teach me that I'm the white devil. Um, I think Suicide Girls tattoos are annoying. It's like, we get it. You love the movie The Crow, but do you need the entire script tattooed on the inside of your pussy? (laughs) Um, A lot of girls on dating apps now, they're only there to promote their OnlyFans. Or they want you to spoil them. And it's like, the nerve of these whores, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Not wanting to give their pussy away for free anymore. Wow, Mario Tonti coming in. Pure momentum the whole way through. 
an Thank incredible you. minute of comedy, my friend. Thank you. Appreciate You're doing that. it, huh? You're just out there fucking writing real jokes. I appreciate that so much. Thank you. Killing Absolutely. it. Every, I, every time I could tell on. that he was a writer by the way he, when he walked up, he didn't swing his arms at all. It yep. Was, and you, you were on a fucking mission it's the tonight. The lack of confidence. Was like he's he's not wasting it's any arm energy walking. You know, pure focus, <laughs> straight to the fucking point. Joke, 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 joke. Thank you. Incredible. That. What have you been doing? What what what's changed since the last time we saw you? Because that's your best set I think I've ever seen. Just thank you. I think it was it great was the whole too. time. That was my best set, everyone. Thank you. I appreciate <laughs> there you go. <laughs> exactly. Sometimes you have to remind them. There's a global pandemic happening. I'm not up to much lately. I'm just doing the yoga five days a week. And it's oh, like, that's helping you. Yeah, it is. That's helping is it? you. You think? Yeah. Do I look? Do I look more? Yeah. Do I look Red Man. What does that make you think when you hear him talking about doing yoga five days a week? Well, I know he does it at the park near your house, and I'm wondering if you have seen Tony yet. Mm-hmm. I haven't. Mm-hmm. I've seen Rick Kosick, and that's it. I saw yeah. Alex Hooper there yep. one day. Yep. That's right. That was it. Yep. That makes sense. I'd like to get into yoga. Yeah, yeah, yoga would probably like to get into you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what that means, but uh, but yeah, have you ever tried it before? How far can you stretch? Have I'm you ever not, tried to touch your toes? I can touch my toes. It's just what well, I don't like to uh, that that sit down thing where you're on your shins. I don't know if you know this, but Red Band can suck his own dick <laughs> <laughs> pre-COVID. Come on. <laughs> That's the only. That's the only Red reason. Band famously on the uh, in front of a massive theater in what Toronto or something <laughs> like it that. that I or mean, London. boy, I thought it was London. the memories that I have of like shit that I've seen looking out that way. And Wait, he it. sucked his own dick on stage. <laughs> well, <laughs> in, uh, basically, he did do the thing, and I mean, his butt did end up just. He laid down on his back. That's how he did it. <laughs> he brought his legs and butt. And it just folded like a goddamn fucking waffle machine. That's pretty good. Like a fucking George Foreman grill. It I was can just al- sort of open. I can only kiss the tip of it, though, and that's gross. And oh, gay, who so wants like. to just kiss a dick? <laughs> My know, God, who wants to? Why would you tease good. yourself that's like that? Horrible. That's horrible. That's, that's what you make in your little George Foreman go, a little grilled tease. <laughs> a couple yeah. months ago, I had a dream that I could suck my own dick, and it was weird. <laughs> Wait, what? Hey, what, what? I had a dream that I could suck my own dick. <laughs> oh, I think we've all had that dream. It felt like I was sucking my thumb. It was weird. If you're homophobic, it's a nightmare. How have you not? How, hasn't everyone tried to suck their own dick once? Like at least try once. Yeah. Come on, bro. <laughs> try. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Look, I can do it. It's not all it's cracked up to be. Right. It's it boring. Well, we, no, after you, a could, while. you could deep throat yourself. Fun fact: If you do a bukkake on yourself, it's called a ukkake. <laughs> Thank you. Unlocked a new level with that joke. <laughs> Thank you very much. So Mario, what else has been happening? Now that you're doing yoga five times a week, how's your body reacting to that? What else is happening? I breathe better. It's weird. Ah. I can breathe in You easier. look like you might have had like sinus issues. I do. I have, I, I, <laughs> yeah. I'm very like... <laughs> Which means you look Jewish. I'm, <laughs> I'm very phlegmy from all the smoking and shit, so... You're, you're what? I'm phlegmy from all the smoking that I've done. What early. kind of smoking do you do? I used to smoke. I haven't had a cigarette in like two years, but I smoke weed here and there. What wow. brand? What brand cigarette? Hold on, wait, 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 wait. Um, uh, I, uh, Camel Lights. M- no. no. Mara Parliament. No. No. no Mar- Mar- American Lights. Spirit. The, the no. Camel. Virginia the camel Turkish Silver. <laughs> Marble Red. Newports, I'm sorry. You roll your Whoa! own. This motherfucker damn. cool as shit, son. Maybe, does anybody have a Newport? I just want one Newport. We have Maybe unlocked he an Italian guy that looks Jewish and smokes like a black man. Wow. And can also suck his own dick, apparently. <laughs> yeah, only in his dreams. <laughs> in, yeah, in your dreams. You're like, yeah, I had that last night. <laughs> why Why Newports, though? Well, I... Of just all from the high shit. school, that's what we would smoke. Let me ask you this. Street. When you had a dream about sucking your own dick, did you do it on your back with your feet over your head, or were you, were your, was your butt planted and you did the hard no, lean? He did it on his stomach and wrapped it all the way around. <laughs> Jesus. And fed it like one of those beer helmets into his mouth. I think I was yeah. just like sitting up would, in bed. One side of Newport, the other side of his own cock. When, when I picture this guy sucking his own dick, I just picture him standing up and then just bending over yeah, in half. Yeah, I'll be able to do it. A couple, a couple <laughs> wow, more, like look at those that. birds that months. drink the water? A few more months and I'm out. Well, in the dream, the dick just came off his body. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as I can suck my own dick, I'm done with the yoga. So, wow, it's not it's not good. What it, it, the, the sucking dick thing? It's just like it's it's a horrible <laughs> idea. <laughs> like 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 in your head, you just think it's a great idea. Well, hey, look who it is. Wow, well, Sam, Sam Tripoli, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> comedy store royalty walking through the room right there, Sam. <laughs> Sam, take a step right there. Look at that camera from right there. Say, wave to these people. Actually, there's not going to be any light on yeah. you. 
There he is. Look at that. Sam Tripoli. There he is. Multiple time kill Tony guest, of course. Many of his own shows. The Tinfoil Hat Podcast. What's that? Yeah, no, I don't Tony? think everybody. I don't think <laughs> we're already there. So. Yeah, are we being transferred to Austin, Tony? <laughs> no, no. I think you guys are gonna stay back. Uh, <laughs> no, we're going to figure. You it guys out. are our road date babies, probably. Yeah, maybe we can get UPS to send you out there. Sam, what's happening in the world? What's shaking with you? What are you up to? Uh, you know, just fighting lizard people, bro. Fight <laughs> it. Lizard people. Absolutely, <laughs> taking control of the pedophile zombies that stole the election. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, all right. Thank you. And one more time for the great Sam Tripoli. Check out his Patreon he does with Brian Callen. Very popular right now. Yeah. Conspiracy Social Cub Club. I want you to kill Tony too. Okay. Next week. Or wait. No. Maybe not next no. week. <laughs> come to Austin. <laughs> yeah. Come to yeah, I don't know if you... <laughs> wow, is this my internal monologue shouting from the dark? <laughs> Are you guys moving? Nobody said anything to us yet. Hello, Tony? We're Why aren't you responding to my text messages? <laughs> we're going to have we a meeting. We found out we were being transferred from Twitter. We were supposed Twitter. to have a meeting before, but you guys only come out of your fucking hut for pizza, and then you scurry back in. Yeah, Wait, pizza did I, hut. Did I make it on as a guest, and now you're moving to Austin? No, God come on, it. Mitch. You're going to be just fine. You have a baby on the way. You need to raise your child. Do you want to come to Austin with us? <laughs> sure. Yeah, there you go. There He's go. moving Austin. Awesome. Play a song Let's for go. this man, you peasants. <laughs> you son of a bitch! You don't. G- I was gonna take the order, but then you called us a peasant. All right, uh, Mario. Anything else we need to know about you before we let you go? No, that's it. That's there he good. goes. Great set, cool. great Thank time, you. Mario Tanti. We're keeping it moving. My Sharona. All right, this is fun. Uh, this young lady, I believe, made her debut about a month ago or something like that. She's back. Here is Jill D'Souza, everyone. Here we go. Jill D'Souza. Hi, guys. Um, so when I was growing up, I played mostly men's and boys sports, mostly ice hockey. Um, good news is, though, is that I saw a lot of dicks. So, like, I knew what I was getting into when I really got into the game. Um, a lot of people get surprised, you know, but not me. Uh, a lot of people think that my dad um, is the reason behind this, like, that he really wanted a boy. Um, but actually, my dad hated when I would do boyish shit, like burp or, like, call him a pussy for crying at the Humane Society commercial. <laughs> he really hated that shit. Uh, but my mom was actually the one behind it. She actually carried me in every sport that I ever played. I wasn't even good. I would, like, chug orange juice to try to puke so that the coach didn't put me on. Yeah, it's a true story. It's really sad. Um, but I think that my mom was actually just trying to, like, live her lesbian dreams through me. Um, that's a whole other story. It's too much for the minute. Um, but... Th- um, so, like, a lot of people think that, like, oh, I'd be really good with guys, right? Because, like, I, I hung out with guys that much. Um, but the truth is, whenever I would, like, lean in for a move after a date, um, I would think it would be going well, and he would be like, chill, bro, that's gay. <laughs> Jill D'Souza, everybody. Welcome back, Jill. Thanks. How's it going? Good. How good. long have you been on stand-up? Uh, about three years. Three now. years yeah. in New York, is that right? Yeah, mostly New York. I just moved uh-huh. here in May. That's right. Yeah. How's that been going? Have you been running into Moha in the open? I mic actually circuit? have. Yeah. Wow. I've seen Moha around. Yeah, you don't forget that fucking head. <laughs> yeah. Was he balls deep in you? For, um, absolutely not. No, know? of course. Absolutely Come on, not. Red Band. I'm ah. not hanging out until five a.m. I got shit to do. Right. Like, like wow. What type of shit out. do you have to do? I have a job. What's like your a, job? Um, I work in corporate innovation. A good title, corporate uh-huh. innovation. I have an MBA and everything. Oh my goodness. Yeah. So, but my job is on the East Coast, so oh, I have to man. be up really early. Okay. Yeah, I'm just and, working from home. And right you do now. it like on Zoom or something like that? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. You said that uh, you had a story about your mom, lesbian, something that was too long for this, but now I'm intrigued. What What are you talking about? Oh, I don't know. Like, uh, me and my gay cousin were talking about this, and we think that my mom is like a dyke, low key. Is your gay Is your gay cousin a boy or a girl? A, a boy. Mm-hmm. Are you a lesbian? 
I'm not. You would think so, right? Because I dress like this. I mean, I thought just because you, you said the word dyke, and then I think you're, oh, they're the only yeah. ones that are allowed to say that. I know. I have to be ca- So that's actually part of the longer bit, is that like I'm allowed to say dyke because I dress like this. I don't no, think that's how it no, works. No, it's not. You have to be the thing. Like, black people can say the N-word, and I can say faggot. But everyone thought I was a lesbian. Oh, you could say faggot? That's yeah. interesting. I can say e-bike. <laughs> <laughs> My sister's a lesbian, and uh, and she said the only people that are allowed to say dyke are uh, people who eat pussy, so... But what if or everyone thought I was a dyke for like half of my life? Then am I allowed to say it? Why would they think that though? You if don't look anything like one. I didn't look like this until like two years what ago. Ha- so. What did you look like before? You guys could like look at my MySpace if you want. MySpace? <laughs> what the fuck? And then you'll know what I really looked like back then. Well, can't you just describe it? I looked like a different um, person too on MySpace as well. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Are That's you 40? <laughs> Who the fuck was on MySpace? <laughs> yeah. I'm 26. <laughs> you were seven old. years old when MySpace yeah. was out. I, I hope you. So. I hope people were looking at a seven-year-old and being like, "Look at that dyke." I was like thirteen. Yeah, probably. I was. Probably I mean, I did that to my sister all the time, but that's just what brothers <laughs> do. I feel like your sister's gonna come for me now because she's gonna watch this episode and she's gonna see me say dyke and she's gonna be like that. Fuck what, I don't what? think. I don't think you're a real dyke. I think you're like a like a powerless. Like you're, you're <laughs> like you're like an e dyke. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Okay. That's for the long that's time. That's a compliment, listeners. right? That's a compliment. Yeah. Low energy. <laughs> <laughs> Low energy. Let's I don't know what to do dyke. with that. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. Uh, but do you have a boyfriend now? I don't. How long you been single for? I don't know. A while. A long time. Years. Jeez. Why yeah. do you think that is? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I don't have a lot of time, I think. I don't know. I think that's Wait, you're going to die soon? <laughs> 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 you have ALS? <laughs> Are you lonely? Do you ever get lonely? Not really. I don't know. I live by myself for a long time, so I, I, I like it. Well, I don't think you even know what it's like being with somebody. That's what it seems like to me. Like, um, how would you even know? When's the last relationship that you were in? Uh, 20, 2018 is oh, my last relationship. Oh, that was only two years ago. Jeez. Okay, so two years ago. That's not that long. How long, uh, how long did that relationship last? Uh, like five years. Wow! Yeah. Jeez time. Louise. Have you thought about having a having a baby? Because that's what, I wasn't in a relationship for a long Are time. Are you and, shopping around? And then, no, I got a girl out? pregnant, and then that's that's how we we stayed together. He's trying to together. get rid of his baby. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, "Do you want one?" <laughs> you know, there's things if you're really lonely. Th- th- yeah, there's a lot of you, things to help you help you out. Yeah, without a doubt. In fact, you can have pictures sent to you from people in your family or the, your loved ones with the new skylight frame. Yeah. It's a photo frame you can update instantly by email from everywhere. It's a great way to feel close to those who you love, even when you're separated. That's amazing. Tony, you gotta get, maybe get one of the band for when you leave. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh my yeah, god! I got one for you. You are <laughs> killing me tonight. But seriously, the skylight frame's amazing. Go to skylightframe.com. <laughs> use the code Tony. Get ten dollars off your purchase now important really absolutely important. super important do you have a picture frame that rotates pictures with people i don't i think my grandma would just send my horoscope to it all the time well so. see that's good though that's a nice connection you'd wake up and look at the frame and say oh my grandmother thought of me i don't know anyone with the same e- email address can do it too so it's great for groups and families <laughs> yeah that's s-k-y-l-i-g-h-t dot com well you guys i'm gonna buy this this seems like a great purchase <laughs> that's great is there a promo code in case she really actually does buy it's it it's funny you mention that it's just the word tony oh wow it's so easy to remember you thanks could, tony you could have a bunch of lesbian stuff on there yeah, it's so simple I that even my non-tech stuff. savvy mom and dad could set it up and use it. Oh my god! So my grandma could send me stuff all the time. Yeah, even yeah. a woman who's often confused as a lesbian can use it. That's true. Oh man, yeah, we are a little dumb sometimes. No, we're not. <laughs> <laughs> we're not dumb. Has somebody asked, have you tried uh, hooking up with a girl before? Um, in college, yeah. You did? How'd it go? Yeah. Where'd you go to college? Well, um, Tampa, USF. You scissor. Uh-huh. You went to oh. Tampon? That's so crazy. Jesus Christ. Red yeah. band. What the fuck? No one starts at scissoring. <laughs> yes, you do. That's not lesbian first base. <laughs> yes, you do. You have to have a director on set to yell that out before yeah. people actually do that. Yeah. <laughs> scissor and scissor. Put the zucchini in the middle. 
No, I haven't scissored. That's Sorry, fine. guys. What's your favorite part about uh, doing stand up during the pandemic? What do you like about it? Um, nothing matters. That's my favorite part. It's <laughs> an interesting thing. You could really say whatever you want, you know, and like no one's really going to see it. No one's really going to care. I was, I was, part. don't, you, you, you. It's a rainstorm. You still company. can't say racist stuff, just so you know. A lot of people do. I they don't. Shouldn't. He's like worried about me because I said dyke. I'm not going to say yeah, racist yeah. stuff. No, but a lot of people do and they get away with yeah, it. Yeah, the Somalian dude's just talking about raping people. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, yeah, I also tried to talk to him about not doing yeah, that. I can't believe we just glazed over that shit. <laughs> I know. I yeah. didn't. <laughs> I said Yeah, it was I know. A bad I heard thing. you. <laughs> Who knew the guy with the giant mustache should be like the PC guy? Oh, yeah, yeah, he looks like an enemy, but he's a friend. Excuse pretty cool. me, excuse me, guy, they. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm fucking it all up. There it is. I don't have you seen Have you seen the sitcom Step by Step? No. Okay, you look like all the characters from the show. <laughs> oh shit! Yeah, you I got a real Topanga thing about you too. Oh, okay, that's there like is. a compliment. There is Topanga Canyon. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> Jill, what's uh, you have any special skills or talents or anything like that? No, I don't. Really? Ironically, she's great <laughs> no. at eating pussy. <laughs> Nothing? You don't know I how didn't to claim like, that, okay? Juggle or uh, do a magic trick or anything? You don't no, have any Nothing don't you do. do. You can't any... play an instrument. You can't No, my sing. mom wouldn't let me play instruments. Why? I don't know. She thought it was like too feminine or something. I don't know. I asked to play Girl. an instrument. She said no. She signed put, me up for baseball. Put that bass guitar down. <laughs> you ever, uh, you, you talk with your mom regularly? You're playing congos like, like a real lesbian, honey. Months. Get away from that set. Bongos? Okay, that's, that sounds easy You guys easy picking masculine up. instruments? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's just funny that she, her mom was like, music is too feminine. Right. <laughs> I don't know. I don't have an explanation either. It's very bizarre. All it right. is. All right. Well, Red Band, what do you think about this? What do we do with this thing? Uh, I, mean, I mean, I have a few ideas, but I don't think she's down. Oh, <laughs> God. Jesus. Why would I <laughs> Brian, why would Brian I you wishes the ice that? house was, I was got, open. I thought you had something <laughs> loaded I got up a on question. the soundboard. I didn't think you were actually going to start suggesting oh, I things. I, I was you're, a, you're a corporate <laughs> what? Innovator. Uh, Innovator, yeah, corporate <laughs> vice president of innovation. Okay, and so title. like on a just an es estimated value, what what's the s annual salary for that? Oh no, I'm not gonna tell you. What well, my because I need is. to know if this is worth it or not for you. Because I used to make over a hundred thousand dollars working for Boeing, and I fucked up. Because I do this now. Oh yeah, well I make over a hundred. Yeah, so you that. need wow. to, you, when you leave this building, you never fucking come back. And you, <laughs> all, you saying you're not good at anything? You need yeah. to find something that you're, you need to take up fishing or bowling yep. or something, and don't ruin your life. It's not worth. Not everyone can be Tony Hinchcliffe. That's true. That's true. Now call her the N word, man. <laughs> <laughs> let it free. Let it out. Jill, fun times. Good luck. I hope everything Thank continues you. to come. Move to Austin. There you move go. Red Austin. Band's inviting you to move to Austin. Yes. Used to be Ice House, now just moved to Austin. Must be nice, Jill. <laughs> Joe Rogan's <laughs> chuckle. At least you got an invite. Uh, All right, thank you. There she guys. goes, Jill D'Souza, everybody. <laughs> corporate, corporate innovator doesn't sound like you'd need a, like a degree or anything for it. I might, I might look into it. I know. I'm very innovative. Yeah, I wonder what that. Oh, you just means. probably just got to wear a suit or something. Probably. If you could do it over Zoom, that sounds pretty cool. If you're Hell making yeah. over $100,000 over Zoom. Look, guys, I've just been thinking about the direction of the company, and we need to be more innovative. How many hours a day is that? Uh, seven and a half. Seven and, seven and a half, half on Zoom. Not you have even to sit. A, oh. Not all on she's, Zoom. She's using Microsoft Word Processor sometimes. Microsoft Word Processor. <laughs> yeah. Don't wow. bring up what oh, Word Processor. Oh Tony once got one for Christmas. He hasn't forgot about it. Oh, my God. <laughs> You guys know about that? <laughs> yeah, we know everything, Tony. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing Excel left. Excel spreadsheets. I can, right. I'm good at PowerPoint, so. Yeah, Is that true? Are you? Yeah. How did you get good at PowerPoint? I, I made $100,000 a year at Boeing. I had to put pictures of airplanes on slides. It'd be wow. like, now this, we got to take this part and put it to this part. Mitch, how does Thank it goodness. make you feel that I dropped out of high school and we're on the same stage right now? Dude, I dropped out of high school. I had a shot. At, at a good life and I was like you know what let's fucking roll the dice baby Mitch you have a baby yeah. on the way you shouldn't talk I know, like I'm that so sad I used to have baby. a good life like the baby's gonna be able to watch this episode one day 
<laughs> you know, he liked his life at Boeing. Oh, making well, just you know it's just a hair over a hundred thousand. That's why you keep saying over a hundred thousand. Right. You know it's made, like one thousand. I made one seventy seven one year. Whoa! Wow. All right, Jesus. Most, most By the way, that's the first thing he said to me all night without a smile on his face. <laughs> it was the most. Do not stone disrespect cold. the salary that I made fourteen. Stop years Stop smiling to, to tell me he made one. Did you know Fahim? He he also worked yeah, at Boeing. Yeah, he was an engineer. I was in management, but we d- we never worked together i was i was uh in seattle after he had already come to boeing here. boeing yeah yeah all it right. was a great <laughs> job that i so fucked stupid. up all right i pulled another name out of the bucket we're getting there ladies and gentlemen this guy uh actually probably out of a lot of people during this pandemic that we found out of the bucket probably is uh the newest uh star of the pack this guy comes on pretty regularly throughout these times and keeps us updated about his life and his wild Filipino ex-girlfriend. Let's see what happens this week. It's Ryan Joseph, everyone. Here we go. (laughs) It's Ryan Joseph. I don't know if you guys heard, but they're letting uh, sex offenders out of jail because of COVID. So I thought I'd stop by. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like girls that like scream in bed. It's weird. Like, I knew this one girl. Like, she would scream like as soon as you locked the door. <laughs> I went to uh, Catholic school, and all my friends are coming forward now with these allegations of sexual, emotional, and physical abuse, and they could have just like told me to stop, you know. <laughs> My girlfriend likes it when I send her like videos of me jerking off, and she's always asking how I keep the c- camera so steady, but like no one's got the camera skills like my dad. <laughs> I've only been in love with one girl my whole life, and I got her name like tattooed on my arm, and it's a bad idea, because like every girl I date now is always like, who the hell is Casey Anthony? <laughs> wow, absolutely incredible. My goodness. This is a, another one just right from the get. Attack, 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 and out. I just show Mario how it's done. Well, I mean, yeah. I was going to say that's exactly what I was thinking of was you and Mario. And he's a friend. They're, they're two new regulars. If you're right? going to do jokes about raping people, that's how you do them. Pay I have, attention, Mario. I have the best rape joke. It got me banned from open mic. Oh, yeah? What's the rape joke? It goes, I don't write rape jokes. There's nothing funny about a woman wearing the wrong dress. <laughs> Oh, it's great. Oh, that's yeah. great. So you got, and you got banned for that? Yeah. What fuck? What, what, Who banned you? They told me I need to learn how to write and that I'm not funny. Oh, geez. How stupid It was are called they? like Bert's Backroom. They would just like have periods oh, okay. on stage and <laughs> oh, my God. call it I'm comedy. S- I'm such good friends with Rachel. Yeah. yeah. Well, Is she, that who banned you? I call her Rachel Cunt Hurt. How many of you think we should uh, get him unbanned here this evening? Oh, yeah. No, she's gone, dude. Well, who, who's got, there? Well, then you're good. She got shut down. Did you go back there yet? Um, no, she got shut down. Oh, she's the whole gone. place got shut but down. But she was like collecting rent. I heard, even though the lease was up. So, your friend, man. I'm not who's saying friend. Anything. Hold wow. on, she was she was collecting rent. She rented the place. Well, my buddy uh, was gonna rent the place because her lease was up. I feel like I'm like talking shit. Yeah, but dude, burn those bridges. You <laughs> are. It's great. Yeah, you're on a show. It's entertaining. I don't care. Let's yeah, see. You can it, always let, move to Austin with let's us. Let's see where it goes. Let's see where it goes. No, my buddy was gonna take it over, and the landlord said she like moved out a while ago. And the rent's been up, but she was holding like a Zoom mic, saying, "Please donate to help me keep paying the rent." Your buddy is is that weird guy. Yeah. Like Johnny or Josh or some shit like that? Oh, no, no. That's the guy that took it over now. I don't go there. He's like he's like crazy. Wow, I don't even know what you guys are talking. I never swim it's very this. Inside I never baseball. I never swim this low in the fish tank <laughs> to see what's yeah. going on on Tony where? doesn't speak open mic. You have to translate to him. Where where is this place at? Like is this It's a- over on Melrose. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Are yeah. they like um you got like 10 minutes over like 5 bucks. But everyone's Wait, like, you pay $5 and you get to do 10 minutes? 
I get mind. the fuck out Tony's of here. Tony's going to have a problem with that's this. Get of, the fuck out of here. That's how a lot of Hollywood yeah. mics are. You have to pay for time. Or you have to buy a beer. It's good, no. though, because, like, you know. Like, well, what uh, are they, who do they have there? Why would they even have humans there if it's a bunch of comedians that can pay to get on? And because, so, no one, of the, one of the draws to it is that when you pay them, then you get locked in the room until the show's over. You're not allowed to leave. <laughs> oh, yeah. Fuck. Wait, what are you It's a literal about? comedy so, escape room. <laughs> Oh my God. If you can pay me five dollars for five minutes of time, but also don't even think about leaving. Well, you guys don't let us in the store, so it's like, whatever. Why do you keep on farting in the mic? It's called queefing. <laughs> <laughs> no, I actually like it because it's. Is that like, really what that was? What are you talking was about? Was that an actual? Was that an actual <laughs> fart? Did you put the microphone to your butt and release air? I think it's the fifth yeah. one tonight. Oh, I heard. I heard two of them. Those One of them, he really went back to position A very quickly because I looked right over at you and you were looking <laughs> at the comedian, pretending like you didn't do anything. But now I, now you've been caught. That was you've, been, you've been caught brown butted. It was so powerful, I almost blew your mustache <laughs> off. <laughs> I've been caught yeah. brown butted. I've, 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 I've had a couple farts like that. I know what it is. Yeah, <laughs> queefs, queefs. I queef out my butthole too. Hell yeah. My goodness. All right. Well, for those of you listening. Those sound effects aren't sound <laughs> effects at all. They're coming straight from uh, Teresa's. I'm trying to prove myself. I need to take over the soundboard in Austin. Yeah. Right. Well, much like Teresa's queefs, the winters in Austin are short, cold, and windy. <laughs> Joel. I'm Jimenez. sorry, Mitch, for like talking shit about your friend. I'm oh, sick. I don't care. I'm in a bad mood. So Why are you in a bad mood? I love this. <laughs> you, you, lead, you, t- you're, you might be the only person out of... Thousands of people pulled out of the bucket that have ever found a way to properly tee me up for uh, during this interview. I'm he's always digging, trying to figure out, like, uh, did he ride a trembling. unicycle? Did he go to college? But not you. No. He's trembling. He's so fucking angry. Yeah, what are you angry about? Tell us, he's Ryan. Well, like, that, <laughs> like I'm on paid administrative leave from where I work. Yeah. And like, this Why? Why are you on paid administrative leave? Dude, like, the women there do not <laughs> like me. Because yeah. they're like, uh, they go, they've been going on um, my YouTube site, my podcasts. They've been going on my tweets, and they reported all my comedy to the HR and the Office of Diversity and Equity. And I got re- fucking uh, letterhead with all my jokes printed out, dude. Oh that, my god, really? That happened to me at Boeing, man. Really? Yeah. I don't feel alone. Does it feel good to be a published comedian? (laughs) I know. I know. You know what you call it? They're fucking haters, dude. They see your fucking talent, and and now they're trying to fuck up your life there because they have no dream. Is that, that why you stopped? That's, wor- that's what those fucking people. At Boeing is that why you stopped working at Boeing? You got in trouble. I got I got written up because uh, of some stuff that was on the internet, but uh, I, I I I left on my own volition. That's Where crazy. in the contract is that? Like, is there? Like, you a part? you are a representative of the company. Like, well, I mean, I was a manager, so I was okay. like a, a representative of the company. I don't. I for some reason I don't think he's in management. Right. But I feel like. He represented the Boeing really well because he weighs yeah. 747 pounds. Well, the, I do not. The wim- That's an exaggeration. I'm sorry, 737. <laughs> the, the women at your job are much like the summers in Austin, hot and oppressive. <laughs> okay, That's, that's a really <laughs> Thank good one. you, Clarence. When you asked him what was wrong at his work, I knew it was going to start with those women. <laughs> Dude, yeah. Well, it, it started, like, this is the second time. What's one of the jokes that they have printed up? Can you tell us one that they well, took time to type out? The, the, black, the black girlfriend one is... What's that one? It goes, um, I, used to <laughs> I used to date this beautiful black girl, and um, she broke up with me, and... I've been trying to avoid her, but I saw her walking down the street the other day, so I like, ran to the other side, and then she called me, and she's like, did you try to avoid me today by going to the other side of the street? And I was like, you're not my girlfriend anymore. You're just black. <laughs> That's incredible. That's a great joke. Can I just That's another say, great joke. I, I used to have a black girlfriend as well. I used to talk about her in my act. Dude, if you just put on like 100 and something pounds, you have a chance to be just like me. Well, I never had one. It's just I made that up. Oh, so you, <laughs> I like yeah. Latinas. Remember? No, I'm kidding. Um, no, I've never. Black girls like me though. They used to say Ryan's black inside in high school. So, you, what do you think they meant by that? What do you think they meant by just black? Just because like I'm always kind of like I've always been kind of crazy, I guess. Or you think black people are crazy? 
I've been, yeah, I guess I just. <laughs> that, wow. that was one of the jokes they printed out. Black yeah. people be crazy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, no, because, like, I'm not, I'm different than all the other white guys, okay? I got soul. I'm different. <laughs> uh, sorry, is that paid leave? What did they tell you to do? Like, are they. Dude, s- I'm being investigated by, like, this former, like, U.S. attorney that went to Yale and shit, and she's, like, investigating my jokes and stuff, and. Um, I guess on the show she's been looking at the show well she's gonna see what you're saying about her right now I don't now. give a fuck wow <laughs> I don't care you're gonna be on paid administrative leave for a long time it's gonna young turn man. into unpaid administrative Dude, leave I, I don't care anymore like seriously yeah, if they you want should to... care because that's how you make money what are you no. gonna do in this yeah, fucking economy because, right now see you picked the wrong time to get fired because they got rid of that extra $600 a week on the unemployment I'm gonna assume I'm gonna assume because that is stalking. It, like I looked at the policy, right, and it says you cannot stalk anyone, or you cannot cyber stalk anyone by going through all their shit to use it against them. And so you're going to counter sue? Yeah. Well, they didn't sue me, but well, I'm gonna, whatever, I already talked to a lawyer. You're, you'll counter HR. I am in HR, but. <laughs> Well, you I work in HR. HR. You work in HR. Yeah, it looks bad, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. I mean, if I was a woman, I would have some issues bringing a, a, a complaint never, to you. I never brought it up in the workplace, though. So that was wow. the thing. Right, but you, you understand if I was a woman that worked at your company and I saw the stories that you tell, because I've watched you. You're very funny. First, I want to be clear. Thank you. But if I was a woman, I would be like, I don't think he's gonna be on my side. <laughs> but I'm totally different at work. I'm a professional. Doesn't okay? matter. It doesn't. How well, long? How long have you worked at this place? Like a year or so. Uh huh. What do you like about it? What do you miss about it? I don't miss anything. Dude. <laughs> wow. <laughs> did you have an office there before? Yeah. Well. What did it look like? What did like you a, have on your desk? Dude, it's soul sucking. I just wanted to do comedy, and yeah. um, oh, I, I know the feeling, dude. Yeah. And yeah, you go, we all know you wake up, and you do like the whole nine to five. Yeah. And you're like I'm just wasting time. What was on your desk? A computer. What else? Um, Do you have a picture a of manifesto? something? A manifesto? No, like, it was just empty. I didn't put pictures picture of it. Nicole Brown Simpson. Dude, you want to know what the worst part about Because you're going to get fired. But could, this whole time that you've been there at that desk job and you've just been fantasizing about just comedy, and you've been like, man, as soon as I leave this job, I'm going to start, I'm just going to write all the time. And you know what? You're not. You don't write anymore when you're unemployed. It That's just true. it just d- doesn't happen. You actually probably write more because you're in a different experience. <laughs> yeah. You know, like like That's you're true. talking to different people and you're. Yeah. Well, it's hard to write when you feel like there's no future of stand up. That's how I feel a lot oh, of times. Oh, jeez, my I'm, goodness! I'm Come sorry. on, the vaccine's got a ninety five percent. It doesn't Great. matter. They were already talking about, like, oh, once you get the vaccine, you still have to socially distance because you're still going to carry the virus. Dude, this is about, like, they're going to fucking keep us down. I don't uh, care. You guys just don't like me. Nazi I don't Germany. Think, I don't think that really makes any sense. We gave them power. They're not going to let it go. I don't think they're going to make you socially distance after the vaccine. Well, it's bad. I think when people say that you're black inside, they mean, like, you have no hope. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you are a Debbie Downer for sure. Hey, I... I'm a very happy person. Yeah, <laughs> what's the happiest thing that you did today? Did you water a plant or something? I don't have my... I still have, like, the dead plants that my ex-girlfriend left there when she lived Jesus there. Oh, no. Jesus Christ, bro. <laughs> this guy's living in a fucking dead I've, jungle over I've been here. gone. Are they... Did, did they break up? What? No, this was, like, two girls ago. Oh, oh wow. Yeah, the other one called me. I went to uh, Vegas to the World Series of Comedy. And yeah. um, the other one, like, the... <laughs> The, dude, it was bullshit. They let the guy. The World Series of Comedy was bullshit. Oh, oh shit! I'm just like digging a grave. Fuck it. Like, let's see where it goes. You're gonna watch this. No, you can f- feel free to talk shit about those people. Okay. Jeez, what do you say about us on other podcasts? I like you guys, man. <laughs> Tony, after you called like uh, these guys like uh, li- like crying faggots or liberal faggots. Oh God. I realized that you were. Jesus, I was hoping they had forgotten about I, that. I realized Ryan. you're like one of my favorite comedians because. Well, I like your jokes, too. But. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> um, anyways. <laughs> but more your dark viewpoints. <laughs> yeah, dude. You're dark. I thank like you it. very yeah. much. Dark humor is the best. Absolutely. Um, yeah, they let the guy... that I made it to round two, 
and I got laps all throughout my set. Yeah. And the guy that got like two laps moved on. I didn't. Why do you think he moved on? Because he brought he, a bunch of people. No, he volunteered there. Um, oh, jeez. Yeah. This sounds like the presidential elections. Yeah. This fucking shit. Yeah. The guy that should have won. Yeah, yeah. I, right, I, I well. asked for a recount. You know what the worst part about that? They they say there's a $10,000 grand prize. You're, you're, the $10,000 is in the form of feature gigs throughout yeah. the year. Yeah. No. Yes. That's so, how they do it. So you'll, <laughs> and, and each fe- feature gig is only worth like $500. Oh. But so you, you have to pay for your flight and everything to get to those places. Yeah. It's, it's a lot of scam It is shit. a huge rip off the World Series of Comedy. I never did it. And they use your name and you have to promote it probably, huh? Yeah, well, yeah. like they yeah. have like satellite shows that you can pay to like for preliminaries. It's so if you're watching this and you're a young up and coming comedian, don't do it. Don't do it. It is a, a rip off. Look, don't do half the shit. Like well, bringer that shows. or I mean, bringer shows. What, what options do we have? There you know, I, it was really good though to be on stage in a real club in front of a real audience because these people are not comics and they came just to watch a show. Yeah, wow. and that was really awesome. But yeah, they said if you do you do anything fun in Las Vegas. Off this sad subject uh, of a it's like, comedy you know, like contest. S- snorted coke of a hooker's asshole. Did you? No, I didn't. Oh. But that girl that I talked about before, the Latina, she yeah. called me after forever not talking to right. her. Right. Forever. Goes, it was like two weeks, dude. This is the no, one that he was like, obsessed with, right? Yeah, like, for it was sure. Like two months or something or a while. So then what happened? And she goes, Are you there with so and so, the girl that I um, Took slept with, that yeah. I fucked to get back at her? And I was like, what the fuck? That's how you say hi? And then she's like, are you there? And then, and then she, and she just like went off on me. And then she sent me all these emails saying, I love you. I can't, I can't oh, live yeah. without you and all this shit. I was like, wow. So passionate. I know. Yeah. Well, she's Latina. I, like, I mean, that's what you want. You I want know. a woman who's going to like. Highs and lows. I know. Yeah. So she, you, she's the one that fucked that copywriter? Yeah. Yeah. And, and then you fucked another chick. Yeah, to get back to at To get her. back at That's smart, dude. Yeah. That's fucking 4D chess. Yeah, and I told her right away. But I don't want to talk about that. No. Yeah, we're not. That's yeah. it. Yeah. We had so much fun with you. Unbelievable set. Great Thanks, interview. Man. The great Ryan Joseph, everybody. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. I think he's going to end up back together with that Latina chick. I do, too. My guess I think be, uh, to be together. My guess is he's probably going to knock her up sometime and then she's going to T-bone William Montgomery pulling out of a McDonald's. <laughs> Good call back. From depression to succession, ladies and gentlemen, this is my favorite part of the show is uh, getting to bring this guy up every single week and see the amazing, amazing talents and just get to sit back and watch and enjoy a brand new minute of comedy from... And a true American hero. It's the great Michael Lehrer, everyone. Here we go. Here he is. Michael Lehrer. Actually, um, I a really bad week, and I wanted to um, not do my minute and talk about it. Um, my doctor said I'm six months away from having a fuck like a marionette. Goddamn Obamacare. <laughs> so, in the interim, I'd like to collect as many internet mistresses as possible. So, if I can maybe... Hmm. If I can... <laughs> um, tell the world a little about me, if that's all right. And maybe the band, um, maybe you want to play some smooth, sexy, slow stuff. All right. Yeah, if, you, if, you, if you guys play super low, I bet we'd be able to hear everything. If, yeah. <laughs> Here he is, about me with Michael Lair. Hi, I'm Michael Lair. Both 
be in my wheelchair can fold comfortably in the trunk of your car. I can survive solely off cliff bars and blowjobs. When you want time alone, I can play online poker for up to 18 hours <laughs> in your linen closet. <laughs> I come with approximately one dozen outfits, several from the wannabe black eye collection. <laughs> I have handicap parking, prescription pain pills, and the willingness to abuse both. <laughs> my disease has not robbed me of my handsomeness, so I'm great for selfies to make jealous your bitchy country fucking girlfriends. They don't know I'll never dance again. <laughs> <laughs> also unaffected by my disease is my penis. Simply place me face up on your bed, warning me three times a day and ride me like a Sibian masturbation machine. <laughs> <laughs> I am a prisoner in my own body, falsely incarcerated, like the Central Park Five, though I'll never be exonerated, but you, my fair lady can exonerate this nun. <laughs> Women are often attracted to me, the same as those who pen pal and propose to men on death row. Not because we're both dying, but because they can tell I murdered people. The ultimate aphrodisiac. I'm willing to date high school girls. Now, before you read me the riot act, I'll only date high school girls that have been left or held back at least several years. In fact, I'll do you one better. I'll only date high school girls that got left back so many years they went into pornography at the age of 18. So to sum it up, if you're an 18 to 19 year old, female pornographer, I will be your valentine. Wow. See you in hell. Wow. There's that dead stare right into the camera, the classic trademark, the slow zoom in. Michael Laird does it again. Beautiful. What a piece of art. What a piece of work. Yeah, lost a little steam, though. The incredible thing is that I watched you uh, in the window, in the front window at the comedy store the other day. Uh, oh, God. Last week or a couple weeks ago. And um, and you were doing some of that material. It's so interesting. Your uh, Part of your uh, method to madness, it seems, is trying stuff out there and then bringing it here. Some pe Usually people debut stuff here and then take it out there, but... Well, I mean, I kind of go with what I have, and, you know, for the most part, I only have Kill Tony, yeah. and um, Mike, and um, you helping me get him in the window. I'm more menaced now, so it makes it all new, and 
I'm able to kind of start to hone in on what I want to do because I have a lot of cute disabled jokes and but I'm like I want to get like gotta really to the bone of it. Yeah, you know? got to balance it out, keep those in there to keep people leaning forward and then hit them with the good stuff. He he is the the hottest dude I've ever seen in a wheelchair before. Oh, absolutely. But yeah. I, I so I I don't <laughs> know. He's what a hot happened, dude. Period. Michael Lair's got fucking pure swagger. Yeah. I mean, he, look at the way he looks straight into that camera. Zach, give us one more slow zoom in here on this. He's been, he's been voted multiple times the hottest his style, member of the show. His style has changed, and he actually <laughs> looks <laughs> that look back. It's incredible. Oh, look, he's, he looks he looks about <laughs> ten or fifteen years younger than he used to. So good at that. When he looks away and looks back. Whoa! Oh, oh my god. I want a side by side frame of him and William Montgomery. Whoa, the oh, that was a good one right there. You I have very model esque looks to the camera, Michael. Mm-hmm. I think most women would pick him over William Montgomery. Yes, but, for oh, sure. Absolutely. For Everybody. Sure. Yeah. You know, I used to be very... Uh, Surprisingly, uh, William looks like he's <laughs> going to shit his pants more than Michael Lair, who actually shit his pants. Just I kidding. Know. Michael doesn't shit his pants. Not yet. Um, <laughs> I'll blow my brains out before that. No, happens. you can shit your pants here anytime. That's honorable. Yeah. Speaking of... Yeah. You'd, yeah. Ma- you'd make it hilarious. Yeah. It should be stinky as fuck. No, uh, we got we would buy special s- diapers, saran wrap. Michael, uh, we would have we would have we would have David Deer meat. Uh, <laughs> David <laughs> Deer meat. He would come <laughs> over and wipe you off as many times as he does that mic stand. We, yeah, we would have David Deer meat uh, put uh, duct tape around the seals of the diaper. Ma- Michael, David Deer. Yeah, you ever hear of diaper seals? Oh yeah, yeah. It's in Guys. Is that one of the sponsors of the show? Are you about to go to a live read? <laughs> yeah, use the use the password Austin, Texas to get fifty percent off. Anyway. Uh I just stepped on my next joke. Back to you in yeah. the studio, Tony. <laughs> hey, I have great news. About diaper seals? No, I won the world I won the world series of comedy. <laughs> Congratulations. You. Oh, my Good. God. You're the best. Uh, that you. is a great organization. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Wow. Yeah. You probably looked out your Vegas hotel room and saw some loser arguing with some ex-girl on the phone. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I don't follow that at all. Oh, you were talking. It was him. Yeah, yeah. it was him. He came Ryan in. Joseph. Yeah, indeed. Ryan Joseph. Yep. Very funny. He, um... I had a uh, potential home invasion oh, shit. this week. Whoa. Yeah. Tell us about that. So <laughs> I hear a bunch of keys at the door, like uh, a lot on a big key ring, like someone trying in my door, key after key after key, and then they're banging like crazy. And the thing about my disease when I get anxious, you know, in tiger mode or whatever. Yes, ti- <laughs> tiger mode, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he said tired. Mode. Imagine. <laughs> <laughs> tiger mode. Michael Lair goes to tiger mode. Yes, I, you've seen many. I've seen many of those National Geographic documentaries where they zoom in on a tiger that's sitting on his butt in a wheelchair. <laughs> they sleep like 20 hours a day. Yeah, so. yeah man. <laughs> Fucking so I wake up from Tiger Moon and there is a guy pounding on my door screaming. We're d- we have actual sounds of all of these things. <laughs> yeah. And he's, great he's screaming for the flow of the story. <laughs> <laughs> um <laughs> So he's screaming and I'm up I'm like I get what's going on in this building. People get off on the wrong floor all right, the time. Right, that's what happened with that cop in Dallas. She exactly. shot him. Exactly. Yep, we've all been so, there. So I'm, <laughs> I'm about to go, excuse me, you're in the wrong apartment. And then Claire comes in and she's like, my nurse, like, she got in. She's like, what's it going on? And um, I'm like, and she's like, shh. I'm like, 
um, trying to assess the situation, and then he fucking cr- Superman kicks the door. Oh shit! And shit. like Jurassic Park, you know when you're looking at the door, I see in the metal bend. Oh my god! I'm like. Oh, this is about to happen. Yeah, you're about to switch into super tiger mode. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> tiger mode, like when did the pool. <laughs> Honey, get me out of here. Um, <laughs> so I'm sitting there, but I'm really good. I'm probably better than The Rock in stressful situations. Better than The Rock, right? Because yeah. you're like an actual rock. You just exactly. sit there. Exactly. Yeah. It's why I'm so good on camera. I'm dead inside. Absolutely. Show them one more time without looking. Oh, my God. Look at that fucking. Zach, where are you? Come on. Oh, my goodness. Wow. All right. Go ahead, Michael. And, um, he kicks <laughs> an I was in Meadow Bend mm-hmm. and, like, Colette is calling 911 and private security and the front desk. And I'm staring at the door and thinking, this dude's about to come through. What am I going to do? I'm sitting just nothing. like Nothing. You're going to do absolutely nothing. Yeah. <laughs> it's the only no, thing. No, I'm in. forward, reverse, or? <laughs> I am the human shield. What would you do? You should have just pulled out your dick and started rolling towards the door. You know, you yeah, would run know. away. Yeah. I know. It, but it has been classified as a dangerous weapon. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> um, so I'm like in my guy mode, and I'm like, and I start going, oh shit! And he thinks a big truck's about to back up. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, you had the wrong upon me. You're at the wrong apartment. He thinks he broke into a retarded ghost house. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. You're at the wrong apartment. Three dumb guys. What was the ethnicity of the guy? That's he not was, important. Yeah, it is. Yeah. He was a uh, four foot tall Chinese man. He was, a, he was a Chinese guy? <laughs> That's why um, I was able to kick the door down so yeah. easy. Yeah. I have Superman kick. It's funny you ask, because it was my neighbor who lives upstairs, and I'm convinced they have a drill rap recording studio in the bathroom. But a rap my. recording studio? Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. And it might just be video games, but they party. Yeah. And um, he, it turns out, the guy sure thought his cousin was fucking with him, but he still tried to kick in his own door. Seems reasonable. Wow, maybe it's something else, like yeah. a, a woman f- fucking. So it was your something. upstairs neighbor yeah. thought he was at, at his apartment, and just the reasonable decision he made was kick oh, the door his down. Keys weren't working. Yeah. His keys didn't uh, work. He thought the locks were changed. And he thought cousin inside was playing him. Oh, oh shit. He thought Did the police come? Yeah. <laughs> My goodness. And I, oh, that's the best part. Collapse, like, we're pressing charge. Or she asked, should we? And I'm yeah. like, we ain't pressing no charges. In fact, I'm going upstairs right now. <laughs> right. And I'm going to talk to him. Right. I, you have an all, elevator at your place, or was that extra hard? <laughs> well, I call You ever seen a slinky? Yeah. I'm like that in reverse. Whoa. You fucking cheeky bitch. Wow. <laughs> cheeky My bitch. I've never been called a cheeky bitch before. Anyway, I, like I go. Is that to me? Yeah, All right. obviously I have an elevator on him, you stairs. See, until he th- called you cheeky, I thought he had a speech impediment. Turns out he's just British. <laughs> Slinky, by the way, also the name of the guy that tried to kick in the door. Slinky Jenkins. <laughs> Not a lot of people know him. He lives on the third floor. Go he's ahead. Like, I go up there and... Um, um, what were you going to say? He's like, Colette, we're not pressing charges. Now carry me upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. You were talking about Bert's back room before. Uh-huh. 
or whatever, and I um, hang out at these places once in a while, and I went to a similar place the other day. I don't want to call it out my name. Fourth <laughs> wall? What? Fourth wall? Well, fourth wall is funny because <laughs> 10 years ago. <laughs> no, it's not. Ten years ago, I worked on a cruise ship with Second City with Joe, who started Fourth Wall, which is slot comic spots for five bucks. Apparently, he invented that shit. I don't know. When you were on the cruise ships, did you have to use your parking brake a lot? No, uh, motherfucker. I ain't oh always been like that. Yeah. Tennessee man. He didn't have to use this parking brake. Jesus. <laughs> didn't have the Mitch, chair back come on, My Mitch. goodness, man. Why wrong? would you do you that? You're wrong with you. Don't hear, you don't hear him making jokes about You don't have him funny, making jokes no about how you're morbidly fuck. obese. Yeah. Jesus. What, what, yeah. what a cheeky Mitch over here. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Tony, before the show, you offered to chew my pizza for me. Yes, I did. And I, that fun. offer still Baby stands. Bird. You want to do it right now? Uh, that's called foreplay. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. One, I go to one of these new Islam in Rome, Corona spots. Yeah, Corona spots. Yeah. It, like, <laughs> it kind of converting into a nitrous drug then for karaoke. Is that what you did? <laughs> no. <laughs> hey. Wow! What Wait, did you, uh, what did you sing? Um, I sing always around the way, girl, or dancing mother. Oh, uh, give me an um, um, heartbreak code. <laughs> A nitrous drugged in for karaoke? Yeah. Is that that sounds amazing? Yeah, man, they got it going Why on. Win? <laughs> But they had the tank fried on and balloons and shit. It was real cool. Michael Lair, we love you so much. MichaelLairComedy.com for everything Michael Lair. So much fun. Here's the drawing from Ryan J. Ebelt. Coming right at you, right down the barrel. Unbelievable. There's Mitch. There's me. There's Red Band in the band. How about a big hand for Mitch Burrow, everybody, Thank making you, his Tony. debut on the panel. Thank so you. much fun stuff happening. Tell these people where they can find you, Mitch. At Mitch Burrow on everything, TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, and uh, that's about it. Uh, how about a big hand for the leader of the band, Jeremiah Watkins, everyone. He has a new special coming out December 8th. Tell them more about it, Jeremiah. You can pre-order it now at jeremiahwatkins.com, my debut one-hour special. It helps with banner placement on the different platforms, so I'd appreciate if you do that. And then just Jeremiah stand up on social media and a lot of great Jeremiah Wonders episodes. Love you guys. Jet Ski Jesse Johnson absolutely dropping nuclear missiles today. What's going on, Jet Ski? <laughs> Uh, not much. Thank you so much, Jetski Johnson. Handmade ornaments available, <laughs> jetskijohnson.com. Oh, yeah. Je <laughs> They're anytime <laughs> ornaments, not exclusively for Christmas. You could use them any time of the year for anything. She makes all of them by hand. And we do a podcast together on the Comedy Store's uh, oh, wow. YouTube channel, so ch check I, out that. I, I did that one, and it just disappeared. Yeah we're, yeah, we're bringing it back after the holidays. They're bringing it back after the holidays. Sounds like a Spotify deal might be in the works with Mitch and <laughs> Jetski's uh, <laughs> podcast. Guys, the backbone of the band, of the band and of the band only. It's Joel Berg, Joel Jimenez, everyone. Yeah. Joel's mostly sorry. Tell us about it, Joel. Oh, nothing. Shout out to Ludwig Drums. Mitch, I love you. You've always been funny. It's glad to finally see you on the show. I love your podcast with Jesse. And I want to thank uh, Jeremiah for taking us to Arizona to open for him this weekend. It was great. That looked like fun. Red Band. Nothing much, guys. Thank you. There you go. We'll see you next week. Goodbye. <laughs>